guys, I don't know why I did this. Curiosity got the better of me, I guess. We've seen the roaches a few times now, the dubia roaches that help feed the reptiles. The population's been growing quite steadily and it seemed to max out around 200 roaches. And they're long overdue a clean. Some of their foods ended up soaking the bottom of the tub, and the last thing we want is an outbreak of mould causing problems. Now I could take one roach, weigh it, and then weigh the rest and calculate roughly an estimate of how many there are. But with the various sizes it'd be a very rough estimate. Not to mention all the babies in the hidey holes in the cork park that'd be a nightmare to get out. So if the aim of not stressing them out too much, and well maybe I'm a little bored, it's time to count them. One by one. As simple as we can get. From the tub, pick out the adults, count them, and put them in another tub. Then scan the cork bark, counting the babies as we go, and pop them all into a separate tub as we go. Let's speed this up a bit. The thing about populations like this, is you often feed too many off to your reptiles, and end up thinning out the population too much, to the point where it needs a resting period where you don't feed any off at all. Or, you take really good care of them and feed far too few of them off to the reptiles until you then hit the moment where the growth stops being steady and starts becoming exponential. Like I've only just started to realise. Over a hundred roaches now and no sign of slowing down. 200, 300, 400, 500. They just keep coming. It's amazing to think this many roaches blend in and hide in such a small space. A view from above and the tub looks almost empty, completely vacant. Only a few roaches in sight. But deep down there's hundreds biding their time. Quite frankly I don't know what I'm going to do with them all. Only Charlie and Roscoe make use of these guys. And although there's hundreds of babies, they'll soon be adults. I feed Roscoe maximum around 20 roaches per week, and his diet can't fully revolve around one insect. This means with the current scope of things, including Charlie consuming maybe 5 per week, it'd take around 20 weeks to feed them all off. That's almost half a year, and we haven't even finished counting yet. Not to mention female dubia roaches have an estimated 25 nymphs per pregnancy and their gestation, or pregnancy period, is only around two months. Continuing into the 700s, still with plenty more to go. We aren't done yet. I'm now thinking what to do with them all. Do I give some away? Try and sell them online as feeders? One thing's for certain, they're gonna need a bigger home, and soon. I'll have to prepare something larger to accommodate a colony of this size. This has already gone over four times the amount I thought I had. And the problem is, if I sold them online, I mean great, it would be a great source of income for SG animals. But part of the reason I breed my own feeders is so I don't have to buy and use those wretched plastic tubs and extend my carbon footprint with the whole delivery process. It would bring money in, but it would defeat half the point of why I do this. At 900 and we've gotten down to the substrate now, the frass. We need to save some of this for the new setup. The frass excreted by the adult roaches contains special bacteria the nymphs need to utilise to start their own colony of bacteria in their guts. We're rid of all the damp stuff though, the stuff that's likely to mould. And here's the part that sadly I'm not too fond of. But the adults and babies bury themselves, and the only real way to make sure I don't accidentally bin some is to give them a good old sieve. I try to be gentle with it, and it never seems to cause their tough exoskeletons any harm. Each sieve brought out around 20 roaches, but the rest is too damp and needs to dry first. So 
So here it is, <laughs> the final count. Will we break the 1000 mark and smash my previous believed population of 200 by five times the amount? And there we have it. A grand total of 1,123 roaches. This is just crazy. This is the stuff of people's nightmares, but I can't help but feel proud. I'm stumped by what to do about this. But what better proof is there that I'm being a good roach father than a booming population? One thriving so well they outgrew their large tub. I'm giving 50 roaches away to someone at work who has a bearded dragon. As for the other 1,070, I guess I'll have a think. <laughs> maybe if I can find some packaging that's more eco-friendly, then maybe I'll sell some to other keepers. Let me know if you have any suggestions or thoughts. Or even just leave a comment just calling me a weirdo for spending my Saturday counting hundreds of roaches. Believe me, I'd appreciate it. All that's left is some fresh substrate, which won't cause a mite explosion like it did in the Morio bin. The roaches will use and consume it fast enough for it to not be an issue. And time for them to all go back in. Until next time. <laughs>